Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome if it happens to be your first time here and thank you all so much for being here and sharing this time and space with me. I hope you're doing well. So before we get started, I'm letting you know that I am giving personal readings right now. If you're interested, you can just send me an email to the email address in the description box and we can talk about rates, options, and availability. Now with that all out of the way, what are we doing today in this video? We are going to be doing a little pick a card just to see whatever it is you need to to know right now this is just in divine timing whenever you have found this it's whatever the universe wants to bring forward for you all right so with that being said let's get into your group selection hello and welcome to your group selection so we have three lovely groups to choose from today and i will be shuffling on camera we have group one with pink opal we have group two with garnet And last but not least, we have group three with Chrysocola. All right, so as always, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And if you need more time to choose a group or groups, feel free to take as much time as you need, and I'll be starting with group one. Hello, group one. Those of you who chose the lovely pink opal, let's see what you need to know right now. So we are going to give this a good shuffle and connect to your energy and see what it is you need to know right now whenever you have found this reading. So I hope you are doing well, group one. And let's just take a look at it. See what is going on. What does group one need to know? So we have the six of swords. So I feel like what some of you need to know is just that things are moving forward. Things are moving from rougher waters to smoother waters in some area of your life. This can be something externally. This could be something um, very straightforward externally. It could be literally moving from somewhere to somewhere else where um, it's just a lot less chaos. There's a lot more peace. It feels better for you. Your mental health is better. It doesn't have to be external. It could be internal. If you've been dealing with a lot of turmoil inside or in your interpersonal relationships, if there's been a lot of chaos, a lot of arguments, I am hearing that there's like you're moving forward towards peace. So if this is moving towards an inner peace, is this moving towards an interpersonal peace? Or are you literally moving somewhere else where it's just a lot more peaceful or taking those steps? That's what I'm seeing for you is moving towards peace. So that's really nice, especially with that pink opal. That just feels like a very nurturing, calming, peaceful energy. For me, that, that really like light pink energy is something that's really, really nurturing and calming. So I do feel like that's kind of the energy that you're moving towards right now. If you don't feel like you're currently in that energy, I feel that you're moving towards that energy. We have the Three of Swords, and it's really interesting. I love this deck because it really focuses on the positive in these cards, and it says release and recovery. So it feels like Group 1 may be dealing with some pain right now, but you are at the point where it's time to release that feeling if that makes sense if there's something that needs to be felt you're gonna feel it you're gonna take a long hard look at it and you're going to release it and say this isn't working for me anymore so you can recover so you can move forward so you can find your peace whatever your peace means honestly this looks like it has a lot to do with your mental and emotional health as well if that if there needs to be some kind of external change for your mental and emotional health to get better, like you live in a toxic environment or something, then I would see that happening. But I do feel that this, for the majority, is just starting with the internal, moving towards your mental and emotional peace. <laughs> I said peace. <laughs> peace. All right, so this looks really good. It feels like group one's gonna be feeling a lot better. It feels like group one's gonna be feeling a lot more nurtured and taken care of. So maybe that starts with you taking more care of yourself if you know you've been kind of slacking on that. But this could also be a good friend reaching out or a romantic partner or something, a family member, whoever you're kind of hoping would come through and just offer some help, offer some assistance or a shoulder to cry on even. We have the shaman, the hierophant. So I do feel 
that group one has been doing a lot of internal spiritual development and it's just kind of time for the external environment to get in alignment with that i feel like group one it's time to take a look at all the wisdom you've been gaining in this past cycle because you're going to start moving forward we have the knight of wands so i feel like the movement that's happening in your life is about to speed up we've got the forward movement of the six of swords and then the knight of wands which is a very very fast moving energy so i do feel like it's also a good time to focus on your passions and I feel like this is about you taking your passion and your spirit and the wisdom you've been learning and finding ways to exercise that finding ways to externalize that and put it into practice group one if you've been learning a lot of spiritual lessons mental and emotional lessons this would be a time where you're going to be actually um integrating those into your life and you're going to be seeing the effects of that like for instance if you've been um just an example if you've been learning a lot about conflict resolution but you know there's still some arguments going on that just are not getting resolved in your life this would be a time where you're actually putting that into practice even if it's hard it's like it's time to integrate that so you can actually see that peace going on around you which is really nice or you've been learning a lot about yourself you've been learning about what you need in order for your cup to feel like it's full in order for you to feel taken care of and nurtured you're going to start externalizing that you're going to start doing those things um if you feel affirmations would be good for you you're going to start externalizing that and writing them down if you feel like you need to moisturize more because it makes your skin feel bad when you don't something as simple it can be something as simple as that it can be you're like uh you know what i think i need to shower with like lavender oil because it calms me down that's something i do that's just why i said that it could be something as simple as that you're saying this is what i need to feel better i'm gonna do it i'm gonna make myself feel better i'm gonna help myself feel better we have the world so i did bring up cycles <laughs> the world literally says one cycle is ending and another is beginning but it's time to celebrate this i feel like the first part of this is it's time to celebrate that you have ended a lot of cycles just by learning the lessons that you need to learn and saying i'm done with this i'm not doing this anymore i'm not acting that way anymore i'm not tolerating this anymore whatever this is and saying this is what i will tolerate this is what i will externalize this is how i will be treating myself from here on out that is something worth celebrating even if you haven't seen all the material success that you want even if you're not 100 percent feeling better yet even if your relationships aren't all sunshine and rainbows yet you haven't met that person you don't feel like you're surrounded by um soul family level friends where there's just that deep undeniable bond you have learned about what you want and you're not settling for less that's the cycle that's ending all right we have the nine of wands so i do feel like for a lot of you there's this energy where you're about to close out a cycle where there is like kind of one last hurdle and it may be difficult and i know you might not want to hear that but hopefully <laughs> you came here to pay attention to what resonates and not just for someone to tell you what you want to hear even if it's true or not i feel with this nine of wands here that a lot of you are feeling pretty exhausted at, at this point but what's beautiful is you're being represented by the knight of wands you can do this you can handle this you have the the drive the willpower to conquer this take action focus and move forward and you will conquer this you will conquer this with a lot more grace than you are even anticipating that's what i'm seeing um but there is kind of one last hurdle with this um whatever that is if there's a talk that needs to be had with someone if there's a talk that needs to be had with yourself if you need to throw out those old pictures of you with your ex something like that one last hurdle where it's like i'm done cycles over moving on to new energy i need to be done with this that is what i'm seeing for you so let's see what else wants to come through for group one this is really beautiful energy so far though there's such a focus on on releasing old energy and accepting new energy and i feel like you already have the wisdom you already have the insight it may even be kind of just an intuitive nudge for some of you that you know what that new energy is going to look like so just kind of releasing things that are not in alignment with that new energy of that energy you feel like you feel so called to go after that energy you feel so called to enjoy that you're hoping your future is full of if you know there's something 
that you're engaging in right now or something you keep around you. I don't know why I, I was really called that some of you, it's like something that an ex gave you or something. And you're for some reason saying, oh, I'm, I'm done with those cycles. I'm done with people like that. But you're keeping some little trinket that you had with them. If it makes you feel bad, then this looks like something to get rid of. And it, it's about the feeling as well. There is nothing wrong if it if it still makes you feel good and you're able to compartmentalize like that, like this cycle is over, but that was a good memory, so I'm keeping that. Then just pay attention to how it resonates with you, okay? This feels like group one's really getting rid of old energy, getting rid of stale energy, and getting rid of stagnant energy. If anything around you feels like that, then kind of try to try to take that clutter out of your life right now. Um, let's see if there's any final messages for group one. I feel like that's the bulk of the message, yeah. We've got the Page of Swords. I feel like there's a lot more enthusiasm coming to you. I feel like there's a freshness with this energy. It's, it's a fresh new perspective. Your mental health is feeling a lot better. It's less focused on survival and more focused on what is thrilling, what is exciting. I feel like you're entering with that Knight of Wands and Page of Swords, my goodness. I feel like this is a really really stimulating chapter of your life you're done with a stale boring painful chapter of your life and while there will be ups and downs in every single chapter i do feel that this is about you entering an exhilarating really really exciting mentally stimulating chapter where you are chasing your passions you are externalizing your wisdom you are living your truth you are really 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 living truth of your proof of the wisdom that you've learned in this past cycle Okay, so you, a lot of you would identify as having passed some kind of big like spiritual cosmic level test and I'm seeing that. If you want a confirmation that you are like passing something with flying colors, just because you feel that pain, that three of swords, you may be feeling that pain, that does not mean you failed. Just because you may be feeling that nine of wands level exhaustion and I need a break, I need to take a step away from other people right now. No, that, that just means you've been through something. <laughs> it doesn't mean you're failing. And I feel like some of you needed to hear that. And that um, your pink opal, I feel like, really may be representative that you may be in a time where it's time to just just really confirm and affirm the things that you've been going through and how hard it's been and how much pain has been involved in this cycle and allow yourself the space to feel that and nurture yourself, really baby yourself. I'm not gonna like sugarcoat that. I feel like group one, now is a really good time to freaking baby yourself. Get through what you need to go through and then just like get in your metaphorical crib and take a nap and have a bottle. That's really what I'm seeing is like take a nap, um, drink some water, drink some of whatever you like and is good for you with, with your own boundaries. Um, really, really allow yourself some time to be nurtured and rest. It really feels like group one could use that right now. So that's what I have for you, group one. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming through. I'll see you next time. Hello, group two. Those of you who chose this beautiful garnet, let's see what you need to know right now. So interesting enough, <laughs> I was just planning on pulling tarot for this, but I felt really, really called to take a second to pause <laughs> and to pull out this goddess power oracle deck. So there must be a message that was not going to come through with tarot that really wants to come through from this goddess oracle deck. If you work with energies like that, then obviously it may resonate in that way as an energy that's really presenting themselves to you. But otherwise, just take the messages. You can resonate with this however you feel so called. All right, so let's see what's coming through for group two. We have <laughs> Uzume Humor. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but Humor, I'm gonna let you know. <laughs> I'm gonna let you know, group two, and I'm even feeling that. You see, there's a stark difference. Group one was enjoyable, but for you, I am feeling the laughter. It's literally coming through. There's an intuitive message of laughter coming through with this card. That has been something that's been coming through really, really as a very special message for at least one group. Every time I've done like the past like five readings, I'm like, I'm getting a message about humor. I feel like this next cycle of your life or this next time in your life even could be even just like the next week ahead. You just have a really special day. I feel like you need a day where you're kicking back, you're relaxing, you're watching something funny, reading something funny, just having a really, really lighthearted conversation with a friend, with yourself, 
with your guides i feel like the universe wants you to enjoy some humor wants you to laugh you know when people say laughter is the best medicine now i think it probably depends on the context right but i feel like there may be just you may have been dealing with a time where you've been feeling pretty down or, or just pretty bored and i feel like your guides are coming through with this message this was just what you need to know right now but this feels like group two's guides this feel like feels like group two spiritual team or some passed on loved ones who were like i see you going through it i see you not really just having exactly like the best time of your life right and they want you to just have a good time they want you to do something that's going to make you laugh that's a very specific message we have schooled the future okay so group two's got some big plans and i feel like even though those future plans haven't 100 percent come to fruition the universe, your guides, however you choose, whatever your lens is, right? <laughs> There's a message coming through really strongly that you're going to make this progress. You are making this progress. You're a very focused, action-oriented person. You like to take thoughts and ideas and you like to materialize them. Those are called goals. <laughs> you have some big goals and you want to make quicker progress. You want to make good progress towards that. You have ideas that you're trying to manifest and maybe those haven't all come to fruition yet, right? That doesn't mean you're failing. One, that doesn't mean you're failing. I know it's hard and if it's hard and you need to feel that, then go ahead and feel that. But your guides are coming through. Your spiritual team is coming through and saying the present moment also exists. Okay, if you are spending all this time and energy to create this imaginary future, you'll get there. There's a strong emphasis on that of your future plans, but also take a minute and think about what would you need right now to enjoy this moment. Even if this moment doesn't look exactly how your ideal future looks like, what do you have right now and how could you bring the energy of enjoyment to right now? I'm going to repeat that because <laughs> I feel like as much as this is like, a really nice message. I feel like it is coming through as a bit of a tough love message for some of you. Some of you might not like this message and that's okay if you need to sit here for a minute. It doesn't mean give up on your goals. It doesn't mean stop focusing. It doesn't mean that you can't be a goal-oriented Capricorn climb the mountain kind of energy, but it means that we might need to kind of sit down and think about are, is there a way that you could maybe enjoy the present moment a little more? Is there a way that you could be in this moment while also planning for your future? And while, because there are going to be moments, you cannot be on the grind 24 hours a day. That's just impossible. You have a human body, you have certain levels of energy, and it's just the best way I could put this is your guides are saying you deserve to enjoy this moment as well because they don't want you to give up on your goals. They don't want you to give up on your dreams. They want you to keep going after it, but they, they want you to have a little more balance of, okay, the present moment is what you always have. <laughs> that future will someday be a present moment and then you will be enjoying it. You will be in that moment. So start trying to bring in enjoyment in the present moment and just see what happens because some of you may be shocked to see that you actually start to have more and more and more enjoyable present moments. And those will be future moments for you to keep enjoying. Just just experiment with that. If you don't like this message, you don't have to take it. It's a general message. You can, uh, you can pause and walk away and never come back. But it's, it's just coming through really strongly. You even had a different deck come out. I was not planning on using Oracle for this. And it just said, nope, this is your message. This is what you need. All right, and we have Anya, we have adaptability. So things change. I know you've got ideas, you've got plans, you've got goals, you've got dreams, but we've got to learn to be more flexible. When things don't go exactly your way, how can you make the best of it? How can you finesse that and still come out enjoying your life? When things don't go your way, group two, how can you still come out with the most amount of enjoyment? That is what they're asking you right now. That is what they're asking you right now is how can you come out still happy about where you are and happy about where you're going? Even if you don't have everything you want yet, are there things to be grateful for? Are there moments to be enjoyed? Are you the person who's like you, 
if you're like just for example if someone invites you out to dinner and theoretically it's just it's a good time you're not going to be doing work anyway are you thinking oh my god when i get back i have to do this and i should have done that earlier i am guilty as charged <laughs> I'm telling you, I know some of you are going to resonate with this because you're resonating with my energy and like guilty as charged here, group two. Like I, I vibe with that. I feel you. It's hard to not be focused on, okay, I need to, I need to build this up and I need to do this later. And oh, I should have done that earlier and enjoying moments. There's, there's, it may seem so simple, but I feel like there may also be a surprise opportunity coming through for you to have an enjoyable moment, for you to maybe even spend a little bit on yourself. I know that may resonate only with some of you, but to spend a little on yourself, to enjoy a time with a friend, with a close loved one, to spend a little more time on your spiritual practice, on your spiritual life, with your self-care routine, if you, if you feel like that would really help you and give you more energy and help you to have more fun, that is absolutely what your guides are saying. If you feel like you've been getting a nudge to do that, follow that nudge and see what happens. I feel like there may even be more abundance coming to you. And I know this, if you don't believe in manifestation in that way, that's great. Um, you do you, but I feel like for a lot of you, there's a message about if you would allow a little bit more enjoyment in, you are laying the groundwork, you are laying the foundation, and you're doing the real world work part. What we need to start doing in order to manifest these things for group two is actually to allow yourself to enjoy the resources you have and to be grateful and enjoy what's around you. That just feels very strongly like that's your message. <laughs> And this feels very strongly like a message that people are going to either like take or leave. And that is really okay. Spider woman co-creation. Absolutely. So it's that energy of like put in the work. And then when you've put in the work, are you sitting around worrying about it? Are you sitting around making yourself miserable because it hasn't manifested yet? If you've done what you can, the hardest, hardest, hardest thing in the world is to release control because you've already done what you can control. That's gonna be your message. I'm telling you, I'm not even pulling tarot for this group. <laughs> I know better than to ignore messages like that. Like you needed the Oracle cards, those are your messages. Group two, there's a really strong message about do what you can, do what's within your control and then you need to release control because that's by definition, that's all you can do. <laughs> By definition, all you can do is what's within your control. You cannot control other people. You can't even control results. You can control how much energy you put in. You can control how much consistency you have. And just if you need to be patient and put in the work and put in the work, that's great. But once you hit a point and things are not within your control anymore, all you're going to do, I can tell you from personal experience, all you're going to do is make yourself more miserable if you keep trying to control things that you cannot control. And that is just where I have to leave your message. <laughs> it feels like there's a really beautiful, promising energy. And I know some of this, like some of you are going to take this as like such a lighthearted message. And I feel like others hear it as a really tough love message. And I feel like it, it's not that black and white. It's really like, there's a really stern energy coming forward with this message. One of your guides is like, damn it, I want you to enjoy your life. <laughs> like, that's why it's like, it's, it's fun, it's lighthearted, but it's also like, do it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> some enjoyment, let some in, loosen up a little bit, have some fun, let yourself laugh. It doesn't all have to be all serious all the time just because you haven't reached your goals yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this message too. I'm gonna go do something fun later. Just promise me you're gonna do that too. We can do that at the same time, all right? <laughs> we can enjoy that energy group too. So that is what I have for you. Thank you so much for coming through and I'm wishing you the best and I will see you next time. Hello, group three, last but not least, those of you who chose the Chrysocola, which kind of matches my shirt. <laughs> Good on you. Let's see what you need to know right now. I feel like the color green must be important to you. I don't even notice those things. Maybe it's subconscious, maybe it's the universe, maybe it's both. But I feel like the color green may be important to you right now. Maybe you're manifesting abundance. Maybe there's a message to get out and enjoy some nature, look at some green. It can be very, very calming if you're someone who's really stressed out. Um, or there could be some heart healing going on. You could be learning to let some love in. Let's see what comes through for you. All right, group three, what do you need to know? 
right now we have the king of swords okay i want to see what comes through with that because i feel like that is your energy right now that is your energy and i feel like it's time to draw some hard boundaries but is that with you or with others it's time to look very objectively at the different things in your life you've been juggling wow the the messages today have been really real <laughs> i'll just let you know that so if you're not here for some real talk it doesn't mean it's mean it just means it's really real <laughs> Take a really good look at the things you're juggling and just ask yourself, what do I want to keep holding up? What needs my energy? What do I want to give my energy right now? And what is just not freaking worth it anymore? Are there some relationships where you are putting in 100% of the effort and you're getting from between zero and 1% back from them and you're like, wow, this person does not care anymore. I, why am I putting in 100% of the energy? Are you dealing with a job right now? Now, I'm not going to tell anyone to sit here and quit their job, but just for example, these would be the biggest examples I can think of. Are you like working way too long at a job where they do not care about you? They are not giving you any energy back. They're not giving you enough money. There's some boundary that needs to be set. So some of you may have to have, it could be anywhere between whatever that boundary means to you. It could mean having a really, really stern conversation with someone and saying, this is what's been going on and it's not working for me anymore. So what are we going to do about that? Are we going to fix it or am I walking away from this? It really feels like that's the conversation group three is having. Now, are you having that conversation with a friend, with an employer, with yourself? It could be all of the above because we juggle so many things in our lives at once, <laughs> depending on the person, depending on the time. But it's just a time. We always have those times where it's time to reassess. Where is your energy going, group three? Where is your energy going? And can some of it be pulled back to you if it's not giving anything back to you? If it's not giving anything back to you, it may be time to either tweak your approach, have a conversation, or to just pull your energy back from it. It may be time to walk away from some things if it's just not working. But it can also be, again, it can be a change of approach and it can be about bringing it to light. If you need to bring to light to a friend that like, hey, I've been your therapist for this many months and it's not working for me, there needs to be more give and take, then you may need to have that conversation because it feels like you may need to have a conversation with yourself or a loved one with love. Even if it's getting frustrating, if, even if you're getting annoyed and need to set that boundary, it feels like it is coming from love. I don't think group three is sitting here being like mean to people. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, you know, you've got enough things to focus on. You've got things you're trying to build up. You've got abundance you need to bring in. You've got money that needs to come in. You've got your own goals. And the message I'm getting with that is like, that's, that's difficult enough. There was a message in group three about, about their goals and a, a little bit about slowing down. But for group three, it feels more about if you feel like there's really wasted energy, if there's anything you would identify as wasted time, wasted energy, and enjoying yourself is not wasted time and energy. I'm talking about you're putting in so much effort and they're not giving anything back. They're not giving anything back to you. Not enjoyment, not love, not money, not their time. They won't be flexible for you, but expect you to be so flexible for them. It's time to start thinking about walking away. Now, if this is a job, I'm getting a specific message. If this is a job and you feel trapped, there could be a new opportunity coming because there's this would not come through just to rub it in your face that you're dealing with a crappy job, okay? So I feel like there could be a new opportunity coming through where you will feel less like you're wasting your time, energy, than your soul, honestly. We've got the Seven of Wands. Okay, so there's been kind of... A difficult time ahead of you but it is saying that you really it's time to stand up for yourself it's time to stick up for yourself and it may be a hard time to stick by your morals it may be a hard time to stand up for yourself and say this is what I will and will not tolerate this is what I will and will not put my energy into but you can do it it's saying you have the high ground stick to that high ground do not lower yourself or do not um, do not place yourself at a lower value than your worth. And I feel that can resonate in so many ways if we're talking about work or if we're talking about 
um, how you're treating yourself, how you're allowing yourself to spend your time, or if we're talking about your relationships, but that is what's coming through, is do not devalue yourself, group three. There is just a really, really clear message about not devaluing yourself. And I feel like people just need to hear that every once in a while regardless. We have the Ace of Wands, and I feel like there's more energy coming to you, and I feel like this, this is a time where something you've been working really hard to create is manifesting rather quickly. But I feel like this kind of comes in sync with that pulling back your energy. You're going to pull back some of your energy from something, and then the universe is also going to like throw you a bone. <laughs> like The universe is going to be like, oh, you're willing to pull back your energy? Here's some more. And you're actually going to gonna have kind of an exponential growth in what it is that you've been trying to create, what you've been trying to manifest. This could also be an exponential growth in healing. I'm hearing that for some of you. You've been trying to get more grounded. You've been trying to get more clear in your thoughts. And I'm feeling like you are going to get an exponential growth when it comes to your healing process. We have the lovers, so I feel like this could really be a lot of you really healing your relationships. There could be a certain relationship where I even said you're leading with love, but it really is coming through like, like you may be making some really tough choices right now. It's not saying that they're easy choices, but it's saying that you can handle them. It's saying you're prepared for this. And as long as you lead with love, I feel like you are really, really going to see a lot of progress. All right, group three. Sorry about that little pause. Now we have the 10 of wands here. So I'm really, really seeing that this is a time where you're going to really feel the end of this stress. You're going to feel the end of this stress and you're going to say, what burdens am I carrying? What stress am I carrying? that's just not working for me anymore and some of you it's even just it's not necessary anymore if you are the one who's carrying for instance as i said all the burdens in this relationship or you have a boss who pays you nothing but expects you to do your job and their job and your co-workers job because they slack off but somehow you're not allowed to that's what i'm seeing is like where are you carrying way too many burdens you're gonna look that right in the face and you're gonna say i can't do that anymore i just can't do that anymore and you're gonna to get to a point where you release that or you can finally release that you have an opportunity to release these burdens that just are not worth it you know if you care about all 10 of these ones and you're like yeah these are the responsibilities that i need to get to the future that i want then you're gonna look those in the eyes and you're gonna say i'm gonna keep doing this and you're gonna be reinvigorated because you realize this is what i I want this is working this person respects me I'm getting enough back that I can keep doing this because I know it's just a hard road ahead but others of you it really feels like you're gonna be saying where's my energy going do I need to kind of pull back some of it do I need to reassess um, what's at the top of the list versus what's further down the list things like that it's it's a reassessment of where your energy is going it's a reassessment of how much stress is going on in your life and if there's a way that you can release some of that. It feels like you're getting an opportunity to release some of that, which is really, really beautiful. I know a lot of people are very stressed right now. <laughs> so I'm wishing you the best, Group 3. All right, so those are your messages. Thank you so much for coming through and I will see you next time.